up, Hooktiverse? Jay's in it. Spawn Factor? I get anything here? What's up? So today, oh boy, do we have a big one. We have a big, 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 big one. So if you take a look at your calendar, you can see that today, as of recording this, is October 18th. The Crown Tundra, the second Sword and Shield expansion pass, releases this week, the 22nd. And for your, for all you European folks, the 23rd. It's supposed to be a late um, release for Western World and a early release for the Eastern. So let's just switch screens and we're going to cover every single bit of info that there is for Pokemon Sword and Shield's Crown Tundra. Inception. All right. So here's. I was watching a Maj Hill video. So here's what we know so far. I'm just going to quickly go over some information that was just released last, like late last night, about the Crown Tundra and Dynamax Adventures. Just scroll in here. So according to Serebi, during today's episode of Fogenchi which is a Japanese early morning show, some new elements were revealed for Crown Tundra ahead of its release next week. The showcase has a focus on Dynamax Adventures and showcase that to get the legendary Pokemon, you have to face off against three Dynamax Pokemon beforehand. From where you start, after defeating it, you then have a choice on which way to go before finally getting to the final Pokemon, the legendary. Damage received from the previous stages carries over, so power points and HP lost is continued onwards. However, you can find characters and berries on the past that can heal. You get 100% catch rate of the legendary Pokemon you face, but you can only capture one. I actually like the idea that they're actually letting us get a guaranteed catch and a potential to shiny hunt the legendaries. I like that idea. Well, it's not guaranteed that they're not going to be shiny locked, but, you know, it is what it is. So that is the newest bit of Crown Tundra information. Now, uh, of course, we know there's the Tetris Cup, but that's unrelated. So anyway, let's head to Sword and Shield and talk about the, the new Galar forms. Well, let's talk new Pokemon first, okay? So... As we know right now, we have three Pokemon that are currently available that, that we know about that will be released in Crown Tundra. Regieleki, Regidrago, and Calibrex. Regieleki and Regidrago are the two new Regis that we really know not much a anything about them. And Calyrex is the new, le new legendary that has been released with the Crown Tundra. Um... I've heard around that, you know, oh, it's going to be a fusion, but take everything you hear with that with a humongous grain of salt. Okay? Take literally everything that is not on official sources. Pokemon Database, Cerebi, released from the Pokemon Company itself, Nintendo. Take everything with a grain of salt, unless it's from official sources. Then, let's head to Galarian Forms. Oh, right, that's not your derp. <laughs> Wrong page. But, in Expansion Pass Galarian Forms, we have notice of Galarian Slowking, which was released with the latest Crown Tundra to bit. Um, so it's Poison Psychic. Same with Galarian Slowbro. It is the Hexpert Pokemon. It is has the ability Curious Medicine, which we really don't know much about. And it was revealed um, in the Pokemon uh, Direct in January, but we didn't get the full thing until not too long ago. It's pretty much it's a uh, psychic Pokemon. I believe it's poison from its head or something. But pretty much. It's kind of the same as Galarian Slowbro, except different ability, and 
Maybe in his signature move. Who knows? Then we have the three Galarian birds. Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno. These are essentially the evil versions of the birds, as I like to call them. But... Yeah, mm, words. <laughs> but anyway, these three Pokemon here are the Galarian versions of the regular birds, and it is confirmed that we can get the regular birds within the current under raid dance. So you can get both the regular and the Galarian birds, which is nice. And we don't have anything on G-Max forms, and we do know that there is a confirmed thing that we can get a in ability capsule and also we go here G Max Mel Metal the thing that we thought was long forgot forgotten and I'm gonna be honest when I say this I really don't like the way they're doing this I mean it's essentially another gift Pokemon I mean you get it from go mystery boxes it's in my opinion, it's just a waste of time. I mean, if you get a G-Max Mel Metal, yes. In my eyes, it's kind of worthless, though. <laughs> I'm sorry, but in my opinion, this thing, completely worthless. The shiny is not that different in the G-Max form. Regular form, you can tell, but I'll advise you on this. Get one for the Pokedex. I'll get one in Sword and Shield for the G Max. Maybe the Shiny, but it's a waste of your time. I'll say that outright. Is it cool to get G Max Momo? Yes. Do I think it's an absolute waste of your time as well? Yes. Um, and along with that, we do have the new expansion pass returning Pokemon for Crown Tundra. Get Nido Queen, Nido King. Uh, Crobat's down here. <laughs> uh, the Electabuzz, Magmar. Well, my Crobat, but uh, Magmortar, Electivire. Um. Let's see, we get the Legendary Beast, Lugia, ho -Oh, Agron, Altaria, Absol, Walrein, Relicanth, Metagross, the Regis. Wait a second. There's no Salamence on here. I don't think this page has been fully updated, but I've added things that... Well, thing I've heard things that Hollow Stars coming back. A lot of legends. Well, thing is, this page isn't entirely updated yet. But we do have confirmation that Salamence, Dragonite, and a lot of other pseudo legendaries are coming back as well, and the Hollow Starters as well. Um, Weather Trio, Garchomp, uh, Lake Trio. Pretty much every single legendary you can think of. Cryogonal. Uh, mm, the trios, the Galar fossils, the Unova fossils, which I just learned about the Unova fossils today, which is kind of awesome because I mean, I could go for shiny uh, Archaeops, but um, yeah, this page isn't entirely updated yet. But there are some Pokemon that we have seen in trailers that aren't on here, some from Data Mines, but I still kind of take this with a humongous grain of salt. And finally, um, a one that um, I really think would interest you guys. Go to Pokemon Database, and then look here. Countdown to Crown Tundra. Currently, as we're recording, there are 3 days, 15 hours, 27 minutes, and 25 seconds left on the clock. So, you guys just have to wait in order 
to get Crown Tundra Pokemon. Um, like I said, this is currently all the information that we know about. Um, but yeah, uh, if you guys enjoyed this, hit the like button, subscribe, comment, you know, do all those things that people tell you to do. Anyway, gotta break like an earthquake. I'll see you guys next time, and I'll see you guys next time, and I'll see you guys on stream, twitch.tv slash swamp factor. Link is in the description down below. Peace.